All right, everybody, welcome back to game number two between Pain User and Noni. And it looks like uh, it is going to be on Kulas Ravine. Noni, I believe the loser, chooses the next map, and he decided to choose the darkest map possible, according to Pain User, now uh, expunging his sorrows and saying that this map is too dark for my eyes. Better turn up that gamma, Pain User. But yeah, it's going to be a Terran versus Protoss. And wow, this map, not even in the current ladder map pool, but it was for MLG Dallas. And and it's, it's, it's an old school map all the way from the back in the days in the beta. Not too many players really like it all that much, but I think it's an excellent Protoss map. Uh, Colossus obviously have a lot of different routes that they can take. Uh, just, they can basically walk from left to right across the entire map without ever stopping. All these ledges just make great places for Colossi to abuse. And uh, on top of that, I think that it can be very tough for Terran players to secure a natural expansion. I mean, honestly, there's only so many places. You can try to go for this top ledge right here. I think this is really the safest place to go for the CC. But first, you got to break down these rocks. Uh, you can try to go for a command center out here. But of course, just like Zelnaga Caverns, a very, very wide open area where Protoss players can make early aggression count and they can take down that fast CC. So we'll see what pain user decides to go. Uh, on top of that, uh, I do want to mention that supply depots blocking off the frontal ramp on this map is very difficult to do because there's no ramp. It's just a straight up choke and stalkers can then pick off the supply depots and even the barracks very easily. So uh, Terran players are not even allowed to wall in. So I, I do think this map is very much PVT favored. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It looks like Noni will be opening with that gate into Cybercourt. Already has the gas going. And look for him to possibly go for the same build he went last time, which is that early uh, Cybernetic score, uh, get, uh, getting down the early Robo Bay right afterwards, and then getting down that quick OBS so that he can move around the map, he can scout, and he can see what the Terran player is up to. Uh, both these, the SCV and the Probe, will cross over at the Waterfall, give each other a kiss. Uh, no mistletoe though, unfortunately, but the probe will make its way down to the bottom right and the SCV will make its way to the top left. Now, uh, both these players have spawned at the furthest away possible locations. Basically, one has spawned in Africa, the other has spawned in China, although that's not really the furthest. I guess that would be uh, Mexico and Africa would be the furthest possible locations or Hong Kong and London. But either way, my geography, not the best. There goes the probe getting taken out. Now, the reasoning why I want to mention that is because the, this map has so many resource locations. You guys can see all the mineral patches all over the map. Uh, SCV here will get picked off by the early Chrono Boost Stalker. But uh, yeah, so many mineral nodes on this map. And because they spawn so far away, I really expect to see a super late game from both these players. I think it's going to go to a 30 minute plus game. Uh, just because they're so distant away from each other and uh, we'll see what happens. It looks like Noni will not be going for the early Robo Bay. Instead, he is Chrono Boosting Warp Gate. Is he going for a 4 gate? Oh man, he's got the second Warp Gate warping in right now. Chrono Boost being used on the uh, Cybernetics Core whenever possible, although right now there is some energy saved up on the Nexus. Meanwhile, here comes a 2 racks FE build from Pain User getting out that early Reaper. No, not a 2 racks FE. He's actually throwing down a third Barracks. Wow, so Pain User here uh, is also throwing down a bunker, so maybe he's worried about early aggression from the Protoss player, and I think that he is going to be pleased to see you once he gets that Reaper in there. Uh, pleased to see that there is a uh, three gateways, possibly going to be a fourth warp gate going down, or what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Oh, it's just a pylon. But uh, yeah, I think Pain User should be relatively well prepared if there's going to be early any kind of aggression from the Protoss as he's got three barracks now all pumping out units and his Reaper is just chilling at the Zelnaga. Now he's going to make a move towards the uh, Protoss main just to get a scout off and see exactly what is going on. Uh, Warp Gate now transforming the, the gateways into Warp Gates. The Reaper taking a chuck at the Nexus and then will fall back. Right now though, uh, Pain User still doesn't really see the third warp gate. So he really doesn't know what's going on. For all he knows, Pain, uh, Noni could be going for a, a Nexus after these three warp gates. And I think in fact that is what Noni will be going for. He's now starting to push out with some of his forces. There goes the Comsat. So Pain User sees everything that his Reaper missed and right back into the main of the, the, pro of the Terran player. Uh, Pain user will be getting a command center down and the, the northern placement of the CC does show, it does indicate that Pain user will try to lift off and take control of the top command center uh, location where the rocks can protect the CC. 
Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Noni is is looking to be very aggressive, throwing it down a prox uh, proxy pylon at the center of the map. Uh, meanwhile, only powering everything out of three warp gates, so it's not as aggressive as four warp gates. And of course, there is a bunker here, so I think Pain User is going to be just fine. Uh, keep in mind, he still has three Raxes, so he does match the production of the Protoss army, and he should have enough to deal with uh, these early, early Stalkers, Sentries, and Zealots. Uh, looks like Noni, though, will be trying to push through the backside of the, the, the Terran main, and this is one thing that Terran players do have to watch out for. It looks like, oh, this could be very, very bad, because Pain User was uh, thinking about expanding to this top ledge and now these backdoor rocks are getting worked out so basically uh, I don't think pain user is gonna have anything to deal with the CC he won't be able to defend against it and he's not even started to work out uh, to break down his own backdoor rock so he's not gonna be able to get any forces up here and oh no he's not gonna be able to secure a command center up there and meanwhile Noni is getting a uh, an early Nexus after the three warp gates and he will be looking to play out a macro standard game he's getting his robo facility as well the rocks have now been broken down and a zealot is going to make its way forward just to see when and where pain user decides to expand oh the zealot placement is so good it's actually gonna it's like an obs almost it's gonna see everything and unfortunately for pain user he does not see the zealot so, so far, so good for Noni. A factory now going down for Pain User. This time, uh, Pain User really is concerned about the potential of those Colossus coming out. And yeah, there is going to be the robotic support bay coming out. So we will see Colossus coming out for Noni. And uh, we should see a quick starport come off the factory. And we'll be seeing some uh, Vikings, possibly some dropship play from uh, Pain User as well. Meanwhile... Both players still just uh, macroing up. I guess Noni is going to take refuge in controlling the center of the map. He's also getting his economy going. One Reaper here will get a couple of kills on the probes. And this is so huge. Pain user the entire game didn't know about the fast uh, expo from Noni. Although I guess you can't really call it the fastest expo. But for now he does finally catch it. And he sees uh, Noni's expansion. So Pain user now realizes he needs to get a command center up and running somewhere. Uh, immediately and he is going to work down his own rocks and uh, try to oh there goes the uh, he finally sees the zealot as the command center lifted off but now pain user will try to catch up in economy he is behind because noni got that expansion so much earlier than pain user did and pain user will have to play a little bit of catch up the nice thing about terrence though is they do get that mule look for him to maynard some of his workers over and there goes the workers some bunkers even getting cancelled as Pain User now realizes that he is in a safe position. He just needs to do a little bit of catch up. Only down by about 4 Harvesters. And his army count only down by around 12. So he is definitely not out of this game. He can still It's still anyone's game to take at this point. And uh, we're just waiting. I guess both players are just going to be content to mass up their armies off of 2 base. And exactly like I said, the, 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 this map, Kulos Ravine, so many expansion nodes. And on top of that, they've both spawned so far away from each other. It's highly unlikely that this game would have ended uh, before 20 minutes. And both these players are going to see that through. Uh, we're seeing now the robotic support bay researching the extended thermal lance, which is the most important upgrade of all for the Protoss army. The, it gives a Colossus uh, so much more range. I think it goes from 4 to 9. I might be wrong on those numbers, but it, it seems like it goes from 4 to 9. It's just an incredible range upgrade. Meanwhile, the Marauder will meet the Stalker in the center of the map. Oh, the Stalker is going to lose! Uh, thanks to the Marauder's Stim, it gets a much more faster attack speed, and now the Marauders are going to try to work out the Proxy Pylon. The Pylon! One hit point away, and oh no, Pain User doesn't kill off the Pylon, decides to retreat the Marauder back instead. I think that might have been the wiser decision. Leave the pylon there for now. But it looks like Noni now gonna push forward. He's looking to be very aggressive. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at Noni's player cam view right now as he pushes his way up into the Terran natural. Oh my goodness, Pinyas are even throwing up a command center in the center. Uh, the CC could go down. Nice force fields from Noni. Gonna block the SCVs out from the rest of the army and now the SCVs can get toasted. Although Noni is not gonna work on the SCVs. He's actually gonna just 
uh, whittled down the Terran army. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Pain User's view as that was definitely a very scary position. He's now just getting his Vikings out, trying to macro from his barracks, and he has to keep this command center alive. Back to standard view here as Noni throws down a couple more force fields to keep the Terran army at bay, but not the best force field placement. The bio army getting that high ground advantage, and oh my goodness, Noni in a lot of trouble could lose his Colossi. Or should I say, Kaloxin, as the two Vikings work on that lowered HP Colossus. It is in the orange, gonna micro its way back. Very intense game right now. Pain user finishes his command center. I was gonna say, is he gonna build a planetary there just to help hold the, the back door? But it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Uh, and he is going to get the orbital command rolling down. Uh, Pain user somehow holds with his SCVs intact. He didn't really lose all that many. And now you guys see that Pain user, the one who's ahead, 54 over 50 harvesters. But that entire time during that attack, it looks like Noni decided to secure a gold expo. And that's really the hallmark of any good player. While attacking, go for your expand because your enemy player, most likely rather than not, isn't going to attack you. He's going to be playing defensive. And now look at all of these, uh, well, actually only two gateways being added down. Three gateways, a forge and a stargate. So, hmm, perhaps Noni now is thinking, I need something to deal with Thor Banshee late game. And of course, obviously Colossus didn't work out too well like they did in last game. They, they, they actually just died so easily to the Thors. Perhaps uh, Noni is going to try to go for Phoenix with a mix of possibly uh, Void Rays. There goes Pain User dropping off a, a little bit, doing some damage with that dropship. And is going to abuse that high ledge. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to be able to do much as the Colossus can walk up and take out those Marauders and Marines very easily. But uh, what I wanted to call to your guys' attention was the fact that Noni is going to try to go for Stargates now. And he's going to try to get, yeah, he is going to go for Phoenix to deal with the Thor Banshee. Perhaps he's going to use Phoenix to try to uh, to whittle down the Banshees, but he will still need OBS to, uh, to detect the cloaked Banshees. And you can bet that Pain User is starting to work towards that Thor Banshee build. He's now getting the Armory down. He's also secured his own gold expansion, also throwing another Command Center. So Macro, always the name of the game. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Pain User's camera view here as he is now, yeah, attention towards those CCs, still building from all of these barracks back at home, adding on the starport, so we will be seeing that Banshee play coming out really soon. The Vikings lifting off after doing some damage at the Protoss Natural, but uh, it looks like that, that Protoss ball is really getting big. And that's one thing that Terran players have to watch out for is when that Protoss ball becomes ginormous and it is maxed at 200 200 if you do not engage in a favorable position and in fact on kula 